the impact on Tiger not being there. How big a hit is this for golf? Skip Bayless. Stephen A. Smith, I cannot wait to hear your response to what I'm about to say because I'll be fascinated by it. But to Carrie's question, she's actually asking the wrong guy because I would like to believe that the hit golf will take will be minimal here. But I'm the first to tell you, to remind you, I have loved the sport of golf, playing it and watching it since I was a kid. I go back to the days of Jack Nicklaus when it felt like there were eight or ten Tiger Woods playing at once. And I know this is way before your time, but it was Nicklaus versus Palmer, Player, Trevino, Watson, Johnny Miller, Hale Irwin. I can just go on and on. It was like a cavalcade of stars, all of them big threats to the biggest dog, who was Jack Nicklaus. So that's how I grew up. And to me, I, I was that guy before Tiger exploded onto the scene. And as, as much as I will miss his enormous presence at this year's majors, if he does not come back, trust me, I will watch like crazy every minute of the Masters I can watch. And then the U.S. Open, and then the British Open, and then with or without Tiger, the PGA, because that's what I do. That's who I was before and who I will be. But last night, I sat dumbfounded watching our 6 o'clock sports center on ESPN, and it felt like golf had died. Tiger's gone for back surgery, not, not even major back surgery. I think we could classify it as medium. But I, I, it, it's, not, it's not the worst. It's not the best. But I think he's going to be back. He might be back, who knows, for the British Open. But it felt like golf was dead. It felt like Oh, my God, oh, woe are we, no tiger, no more interest. And look, Stephen A., can I, is, is it too irreverent to bring up the fact right now in the wake of Tiger Woods? The man hasn't won a major championship in almost six years. Think about that. He really hasn't even come close to a major championship for the last six years. But to everybody else's point, the stunning fact to me is that during Tiger's drought, post-scandal, no other Tiger, no next Tiger has stepped forward. I was thinking maybe Rory was that guy, and then last year, Rory had fired and he fell back and fell right on his face last year, and I think he's still on his face as we speak. I'm not convinced he's going to be a big threat. So I look back to the days of Jack Nicklaus and I can't see them anymore. And, and here's my last point, Stephen A., when Tiger exploded onto the scene, and trust me, I loved it as much as anybody else did, in 1997, think about that. Remember the Masters in 97? I thought, crazy me at the time, this will open the floodgates for young African-American golfers everywhere. There's so much money being poured into the, the first T programs all across this country, giving young African-Americans ample opportunity to compete and play and grow in the game of golf. Guess how many are on tour as we speak? How many African-American golfers? How about zero? Wow. How about zero? Are you kidding? There's that, that kid, Joseph Bramlett, who broke through and got his card in 2011 and played that year. And then he played on the Web.com tour last year. And I don't even know what's happened to him. But he's not on the PGA Tour. It's Tiger Woods and Tiger alone. You know what, Skip? The African-American community doesn't care. Do you know why we don't care? Because the objective and the agenda was for equal and fair participation or thereby access so we could participate. Where we get to choose whether we want to participate or not, as opposed to there literally being walls up to prevent our participation from taking place. That is what we're fighting against. When that veil is lifted, that iron curtain is eradicated, and then we have the freedom to literally participate if we so choose or to do otherwise if we so choose is all we really care about. So the fact that African Americans are not on the tour is of, of little concern, just like the absence of or the lack of black participation in the sport of Major League Baseball has diminished. We don't concern ourselves with that as much as we concern ourselves with having the right to choose whether it's something that we want mm -hmm. to do or not. So that's what I want you to be careful about and just keep my, be mindful of that because it's really not that big of a deal. Tiger has mass appeal and he draws everybody in because you find him, you find him to be a polarizing figure. You're either for him or against him. Whereas the other guys, we don't really care about unless you're avid golf followers like yourself. 
it's a it's almost like a niche sport for crying out loud. If you love it, you're very much into it. If you don't, you don't. But Tiger brings in those, whether they're interested in the sport or not, because they're interested in him. But the Rory McIlroy's and the Phil Mickelson and others, you pretty much have to love golf to be interested in all of those other folks. You don't have to love golf to be interested in Tiger. Mm. You just need to love or hate Tiger.